Hi, I'm Deborah Lee Baldwin at Oasis Nursery with potter Alicia Ericlides of Potted Arts. Look at the gorgeous things that Alicia makes. So we just came from her studio in Fallbrook, California. We're, we're going to pair succulents with your pots. Yeah, very exciting. So I've been uh, doing pottery for about 15 years. Uh, I started doing this full time only a few months ago. And I love succulents and I love pottery and I started making pots for plants. And her love for it shows. Don't you agree? Aren't these stunning? Look at the color of the glaze with the color of the plant. So that's one option. Just a very interesting, almost fuzzy texture. I mean, it's not fuzzy. It's obviously it's it's ceramic, but this suggests a fuzziness when it's paired with this. I have to confess, my one of my thoughts when I saw this was a bird feeder. When I find the work of a really good potter, everything looks good with his or her work. Also, what I love about Alicia's work are her her hand forged copper hooks which are incorporated in the hanging pots. Did you know that you were making an echeveria on the bottom of that pot? <laughs> I kind of did. Yeah. I kind of did, yeah. I was thinking of it when I was carving it. Any teal blue echeveria with pointed leaves would be perfect in this pot. You can't go wrong. For this, we wanted to go, instead yeah. of with the, uh, the more expected blues, which would give you more of a monochromatic look, we were thinking, let's go with contrast. So of course you know contrast and repetition are the two most important design principles. And now you see we're getting some contrast with the uh, pinky orange of the leaves of the graptocetum with the pot and also a repetition of the copper of the hangers. And I think this is going to be the winner because look at that. The intensity of the blue glaze on the pot is the same intensity of the uh, copper tone stone crop. I have nestled this into a, um, a coiled piece of fabric so that it stands upright. Mm -hmm. And this is just going to be such a no-brainer because it's a one plant, one pot combo with this beautiful echeveria that, that picks up the pointed aspects of the design on the pot and the color. Stand up. If you would hold that like that. Okay, I'm going to push the root balls together and add more slant. You absolutely must have top dressing to give your compositions a finished look. It's, it's subtle. Most people don't even notice it, but a composition without top dressing is going to look unfinished. It just adds, it's like a, a mat in a painting. Um, okay, on to the next one. And then when you put an orange plant with a blue pot that has copper accents, suddenly everything is greater than the sum of its parts. I look at something like this, actually anything that's hanging and beautiful, and I think of it as a potential bird feeder. It's too deep. You couldn't fill this with bird seed. But you could take like just an ordinary water bottle and a pair of scissors. Let's see, that's on there nice and tight. And then you just put that like that, throw this away, then you have your bird seed holder, voila, comme ça, and then fill that with bird seed because that's about the right amount. We have, we have lines in the pot that are echoed by the shape of the leaves and the color of the leaves are the same green as the glaze. 